I cannot believe I did all of this to sit in the house. Take a moment to unwind, fix yourself and realign yourself with the world, baby. Breathe slow, baby. people welcome back to my channel if you don't know who I am my name is Paris and I'm here to answer some questions it's Q&A time but wait there's more it's also a summer get ready with me so stay tuned okay so let's get started I think I'm going to just list the products I'm using right here and then I'll answer the questions so I'm not kind of jumping back and forth between two things so Starting with toner, I kind of did my toner already. But the first question is, how old am I? I'm 22. Um, and the second question that I got asked a bunch was, when did you start getting into skincare? I've always kind of just enjoyed doing masks. I think it's like relaxing and refreshing, but I'd say maybe about a year and a half ago, maybe two years, I was like, this is gonna be my thing. Like, I really enjoy this. This is something that I could, research and not get bored. This is something that I enjoy so much that I feel like I want to share. So about a year and a half ago. Next is serum. And the third question is, where are you from? I am from Philly. Um, born and raised in Philly. So I'm following up with my moisturizer. Um, I like this one a lot for the summer because it's a little bit light and fluffy. Um, and the next question is, kind of like a two-pointer, like a combo, like an A-B part. Um, what made you get into skincare and who inspired you to get into skincare? Because they're kind of the same answer, that's why I'm kind of combining them. It's Hay Morgan. Look her up on YouTube or Instagram. She's amazing. I think she's like the queen of skincare in my opinion. Um, and she's just really cool. I've actually got a chance to talk to her on, on Instagram before and that kind of made my day. And I just think she's, you know, she's really cool. And I remember watching her YouTube videos a couple years ago and being like, yeah, I want to do that. That seems cool. So shout out to her. The next question was, how much water do you drink per day? Let me tell you, water is basically all I drink. I love tea. I do drink a lot of tea, but um, Water is my my everything. I love water. I like to say that I drink about five to six bottles a day. Um, I keep my trusty little purple water bottle with me all times. It's only empty right now. I have to go refill it. But I refill it maybe about yeah, like five or six times a day. And this is just like a regular size water bottle. So I drink a lot of water and. I might not eat the best, but the very least I drink a lot of water. So it kind of balances out, you know? <laughs> I really like this next question because it implies that I know the answer. Um, someone asked me what helps, or well, tips for like staying sane during the quarantine. And it's just really touching to me that you think that I'm sane. Um, <laughs> but I'd say just like trying to take care of yourself and Oftentimes when we're confined to our own space for a long periods of time, we can get in our heads and stuff. So trying to be social, I'm not the most social person. Like I'm so happy being inside with Netflix and stuff. So like trying to keep in contact with my friends, make sure I do some Bible reading, like things like that to just try to get myself out of my own head. Those have been really helpful for me and hopefully they're helpful for you too. <laughs> But this next question that I really loved was, do you think you could ever do a video on the effects that certain medications might have on your skin? I would love that because personally I've experienced it and knowing that other people are interested in that too is definitely giving me a push to do my research and then make a video about it. So if that's what you guys want to see, then by all means, let me know. Let me know because I would love that. And someone, and she knows exactly who she is, had the nerve to ask me, why can't you keep a consistent posting schedule since we're all in quarantine? And let me tell you something. Yep. Another question was, do you think you'll ever do a vid on Korean skincare? I would love that too. I can't say that I've used a vast number of Korean skincare products, but 
what I have used, I have love. So if you guys will want to see that, um, let me know and I'll add that to the list too. <laughs> this list is getting out of control. Another question that I loved was, when are we going to see your mom on here? Like, we saw dad, we met dad. When's mama going to come on the channel? That's a great question. I've asked her several times. And she keeps uh, telling me no. So, um, do with that information what you will. Next question was, can we get a drugstore um, routine? I would love that too. Yep, the answer is yes. Yes, you can. Um, yep, that's the whole answer. I just truly cannot bring myself to wear foundation during the summer. Like, I just get too hot and I can't deal with it. I conceal the important sections and highlight and I keep it moving. Like, I... When I'm hot, I get angry and mean, and I don't feel like anyone deserves that sort of energy. So, I just can't bring myself to put on foundation during the summer. <laughs> this question was really important to me. Um, can you do a video talking about anxiety, depression? Um, maybe. <laughs> maybe, one day. Um, I try to be as vocal as I can about anxiety and depression on my story on Instagram because I feel like the stigmas can be so incredibly deadly truly um so I try to be vocal about it on there um I might bring it over here we'll see that's such a heavy subject and I try to make this channel as light and airy as possible but it's important so we'll see on a lighter note, um, I'm gonna kind of just do like a rapid fire favorites. Not like skincare favorites, like I got asked like favorite color, favorite song and all that stuff a lot. So um, my favorite color is black with lavender being a close second, like a really close second. Um, my favorite animal is cats because I'm a crazy cat lady at heart. Um, they're just very, very, very sweet and they're precious babies and they deserve the world. Like, I like dogs, but I'm a cat person. Um, what was another one? Favorite food? That's really hard because cake technically isn't a food. Um, I want to say anything from Chick-fil-A. Not anything from Chick-fil-A. I have a very specific Chick-fil-A order. But um, Chick-fil-A is, Chick is amazing. Chick-fil-A is the reason I'm not vegetarian anymore. <laughs> as far as music is concerned, I am so sorry to anyone who ever asked me about my favorite musical artist or my song or favorite songs or anything because I literally like every genre of music. I have yet to meet a genre that I don't love. So I <laughs> I can never pick one favorite song. Um, this is like a little technique I do. I pinch my eyelashes together to make like little clumps, kind of like baby doll eyelashes. I don't know, I saw someone on TikTok do it, so I started doing it and I really love it. Um, that's the only makeup tip <laughs> you'll get from me. But as far as music is concerned, it's impossible for me to pick a favorite song. It's way too many. I can give you my favorite thousand songs. But that's about it. <laughs> I mean, some of my favorite musical artists. Um, I grew up on Motown. My dad was a big Motown person, so Jackson 5, Michael Jackson, Temptations, um, all that good old Motown music is like the music of my heart because that's what I grew up on. And aside from that, I love me Beyonce, Queen B, always. I went to see her in concert a couple years ago. Amazing. Um, I was obsessed with One Direction when I was in high school. <sighs> Boy band phase was real. Um, I love rock and roll like old 80s rock as well as like current stuff like Fall Out Boy. Um, I went through an intense indie phase, like an alternative phase with like Arctic Monkeys and The Neighborhood and stuff like that. But then catch me listening to Drake any day. Drake, Childish Gambino, J. Cole, yes. And no, I do not discriminate against country music. I love country music. My family's from South Carolina. 
we country, okay? So catch me with some Sam Hunt. I love me some him. I love everything. Like even like a little bit of like that crazy screaming rock, like sleeping with sirens. I get down with it. There's literally not a single genre that I dislike. That's what I task y'all to do. Come across a song that's so crazy or a genre that's so crazy and send it to me and I bet you I'll still like it. <laughs> I'll just say some artists I've been really obsessed with lately. Roy Woods, Floyd Fuji. Um, I've been in this really intense Lauren Hill kick. I've always loved her, but lately it's been really intense. Um, Chloe and Halley's latest album. Uh, uh, beautiful, I love it. They're so talented, like so talented. I wish I could sing like that. And no, because somebody asked me, will you be singing on this channel? I will not. Singing stays on Instagram. This is a skincare channel. <laughs> I got a few people that ask me, can we collab? And the answer is always yes. Like, um, of course, depending on like the product or whatever. But if you have something that you would like for me to review or promote or something, just let me know and we'll have a conversation about it. I'm always open to it. So please. I'll let you girl. Got a few questions about hair videos too. Um, I still have a few from a couple hairstyles I tried a couple months ago that I never posted that I said I was going to. So I'll still post those eventually. Um, if I don't absolutely love the style, it's kind of hard for me to convince myself to post it. That's how I felt about the mini braids. A lot of you guys asked me about the mini braids on Instagram. I took them out like three days after I put them in because I wasn't crazy about them. But, you know, you guys said you still wanted me to post a video. So, I'll do that. I promise. Eventually. And so, I believe that was all the questions. Some of these questions were in my DMs. Some of these questions were from a while ago. And some of them were from my story posts. I look like I'm getting ready for bed the robe but this is just to lay my little edges down y'all so that's about it for me let's be honest here i'm not doing all this if i'm putting a mask on um you get from here up <laughs> um i might do my eyebrows but with a mask it's quite frankly too much like i'll do my skincare routine maybe an eyebrow if i'm feeling fancy and that's about it but Thank you for joining me on this lovely, lovely Get Ready With Me slash Q&A. Remember to drink your water. And I will see you guys next time. Remember to tell the people you love that you love them. Thanks for watching.